Hey, 15G. Hey, yeah, where's your calf? Come on, stop playing games. Around the Got one more place that I'd like to look here. Watch out, girls. They're all coming. I don't know what to tell you guys. Looking very promising. There's more Kayu tracks right here. Somebody made a comment <laughs> in one of my videos when I was doing predator control and they said, you know, you know Paiute's got the right to live too. And I said, you're absolutely right, they do. That's what I'm thinking right now, but the calves don't. So it looks like there was three Paiutes. It's too hard to tell what this track is here coming across. If you got going out with the neighbors here. So it's just on the potty. You know why I probably can't find them? Because it's not where I'm looking. I'm gonna cut this camera across. I'm down. Kayla and Otis said they want to come see the big cows. <laughs> I said, I want to see them too. Come and see them. Looked around it twice. There's a spot there here where he could. There's a track right here that went across the out of the pen. We got everybody looking now. Brody, you think who's gonna find the cow? Oh, no one has been on that already. I give him a full buffet right there. Don't kill the live cats. I hoping that wasn't the calf, and I, I saw you guys walking with it. You guys ever watched Unsolved Mysteries? I haven't, but... I don't. Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh, that's H. Here I see this calf from a long ways away. I thought it was him, but I think... Nope. That's 8G and he's just sunbathing. Now I got the fence stretchers. They're starting to get desperate as I just broke into the neighbor's fields. It's only a few, a couple hours of the sun for light. High and low, and this is all we have to show. This pronghorn antelope, we found all sorts of stuff, but no calf. Oh, I just found him. Looking in the dam to see if he drowned. Where were you, buddy? You can see my quad tracks right there. Oh, that's so good. Now let's get you back to mama. Man, the coyotes came through there. They must have put the run on him and he hid down in the bush here. Now he'll be scared because they came across that hill. Oh, I'm just glad they never got him. Or did they? He's alive. Catch it will be a good one. Mm. Here's the problem with heifers for really? Come on. Come on. It's not your mom. The calf's dumb, the heifer's dumb. Okay. Go to your mom. 
mum now. There we go on that one. This one's doing good. Sure, go off by yourself with her. We got it all solved now. We got these separated off. Heifers can be really time consuming. And whether you have 10 heifers, you got 20 heifers, or you got 100 heifers, a lot of times it's just a fair amount of work. Thank you, Lord, for all the, the um, sunshine today. You stay back there, heifer. And for the, uh, the moisture and the air in our lungs. The one that we can't ignore. God is sharing something with me that he wants me to share with you guys. Just a little analogy. We took the hide off of that calf and put it on it onto the other calf and the mother accepted it right away and now she's got some resistance. That poor calf she's bunted a few times and it's driving me crazy. I don't know if I walk out in the wind. I'm not sure if you guys will hear me. But I'm gonna keep going with my day. And the thing about this though that's really hitting me is that Jesus, like a lot of people will say that God is more fond upon Jesus, but that's not true. Jesus is, um, it, it's very clear that, that God loves us the same as he loves Jesus. So try to wrap your head around that. This little calf right now is not feeling that way. I know that. He wants this cow. There's no problem on that end. But the mom's shunning him. And this is not the way it is when it comes to be a child of God. That's how cool it is. And that's how we need to accept. We also, we, we found 15G calf. Now 6G was running around. We're going to be quiet and look at this cow. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. He loves us so much. He loved Jesus so much. And he loves us. There's no different value. Because we try to wrap our human head around it sometimes. There's no different value. He loves us all the same. All the same. Let's take a look. See the hide came off and he's dragging it in the mud. That could be part of the problem. Who does this anyways? Huh? Oh, and you're gonna kick, eh? That's why we got the pipe in there. So you guys can see the we put a pipe right through the back flank there. So she can't kick her hand. Kind of thinking that that all started from learning the hard way. From here we go. Let's see if we can get the calf going. He's hungry. Muddy undercarriage didn't help the calf. Now we wait. He was hungry. Oh, hey, Noel. Just cleaning out your guys' bunk. So here is the undercarriage girl. We're gonna try to milk her out. I don't know how much milk she has. It looks like she's got lots. I don't know if this heifer's got enough.
So what I had to do is I had to milk a good portion out of there to get the size down so we could get a mouth on them. Okay, do we got all three calves here? There's one. Oh, I see number two. That's pretty normal. Can you guys see it? That's how they're hard to see. These are right there. There's 15G. Hey buddy, I put a lot of hours in looking for you yesterday. Glad you're here. Snowbell's off by herself. Well, that makes sense now. There's 6G. Snowbell is babysitting. And $7 meal deal. Just got back. I don't know if it's right to call her $7 meal deal, Brody. It's a little savage. I think we should get, you need a different name. So I have a confession to make. Well, before he was calving, I went and I tied two wires together. It's Sunday. I'm gonna go put my feet up and read. I, I want to read a little bit of some scripture. There's, I have a desire to read some scripture. And you guys, I want you to comment below what you think about that working on Sundays. That's a touchy subject in the church today. Have you guys ever had the case where you're just hoping that the weatherman's going to be wrong? I sure hope he is, because there's another two more cows on the go also here.